Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome. This is part three of my skincare and the final one. Originally I thought this was going to be four videos, but um, um, I had a little bit more sample deluxe sizes that you know I was going to just donate, declutter and donate anyways. Oh, sorry about it, but, um, but I'm like, nah, I'm not going to include that. But, so this is going to be the final part of the skincare declutter. Now, this will include my hair care product and my exfoliators. I don't do hair care products, but <laughs> recently um, subscription boxes have started including that, which I understand for some people that's great, but for me, I don't... I don't I just not. So I'm pretty sure, like, almost maybe 99% of that's going to go away, which is not a lot, because in total I'm starting with... 26 products and pretty much I only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hair care products so I'm pretty sure I'm probably I'm also going to keep 2 only so let's just get started with the final part of my skincare declutter and what I already declared will be donated I don't open up any skincare products until I finish up a certain product and it's time to replace it with something else with something new. that's the only time I open it so all of this is unused, unopened. So let's just get started. Let's start with the hair care product because that one's going to be pretty easy for me. First is the Sink and Sinners Super Fresh Divine Dry Shampoo. I don't use dry shampoo. Declutter. <laughs> uh, next is the Vor? Voy? V I don't know if that's an I or an R. V I O I or V I V. V -I v -O -I or V O R? I don't know. War? Uh, Secrets in the Snow Stop Soft Styling Foam. You see my videos. I don't style my hair for anything, so yeah. Cutter. Next is this um, hair mist. Declutter. Uh, is this next is the Authentic Beauty Concepts, a hairspray. Declutter. Uh, next is the Lifestyle Company Detox Hair Serum. Declutter. I'll show you what it looks like, but... Yeah, but it's declutter. And the last two... I just... Well, this is kind of recent. It is the SB2 by Sutra Rejuvenating Hair Serum. Now, this was supposed to provide follicles with intense nourishment and instant relief following styling I think this yeah I think I picked this as a choice but I think I originally picked this it was supposedly it helps with your frizziness yeah it says the serum and fortifies the structure of the hair fiber to eliminate frizz and impart a silky smooth finish so I think I'm gonna keep this and then this one I just got is the Verb Ghost Prep, a weightless moisturizer and hair protectant and frizz control. I'm keeping this too because I just got this and Verb is a more um, drugstore price. I know this is not, so I want to keep one high end and one drugstore. So I am keeping two. Like I said, I knew uh, pretty much <laughs> hair care. Yeah. And the last part of this whole thing is exfoliators my preference on exfoliators is the one you put on your face and you leave them on for five minutes three minutes ten minutes you know whatever the instructions is and then you wash them off I uh, my method is painless not painful so I know some of these are automatic like no bye no so let's get started first is the Paralyse the pumpkin and ginger detoxifying charcoal mask now I gotta see verify I'm gonna try purely, so I'm keeping this. Next is the Skin Fix AHA BHA Enzyme Exfoliating Pads. I don't do exfoliating pads because I don't feel like they do anything, so declutter. Next is this Super Super Silver Haze Purifying Face Mask. I'll declutter. Next is Drunk Elephant TLC Sakura Baby Facial. 
I'm keeping this because it is expensive. And I think Leo Janay said it is painful, but then once the pain subsides a little bit, it does wonders. So I'm definitely keeping. Next is um, Ola Henderson Fat Glow Facial. P-H-A-T, guys, not F-A-T. I'm keeping this because this is a pricey brand, and I want to use it eventually. Next is... Now, this is why I keep it in the box. <laughs> is the a Glow Recipe Waterman Clay Hyaluronic... Waterman Glow Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tightening Facial. Yeah, I'm keeping this because um, I love Glow Recipe's Waterman line. So, uh... Yes, I'm keeping. This Aldi declutter is the Facial Radiance Pads. Same idea, exfoliating pads. Don't use them. Keeping this, it is Glam Glow's <laughs> Youth Mud Glow Simulating Treatment. I'm keeping another pricey brand. Uh, let's see. This one is for sure because this is the peel off. I don't do peel off. It's Florence by Mills. It, what is it? It doesn't I'm trying to see if it has a specific name, but it's just Florence by Mills peel off mask. No, the I don't do peel off mask. Dr. Brandt pore dermabrasion. I'm decluttering because I just, I think a couple months ago or six months ago, I found that they're not cruelty free like I originally thought. So I'm gonna declutter. I just got this. Is G-U-A-R-A -A. I don't know how to say it is the Radiant Enzyme Scrub I am definitely using this keeping this because this is what I actually like like say I'm in a hurry by someone exfoliate this one you only have to leave on for one to three minutes I actually like this so I'm keeping next is the e.l.f. oil control pink powder mask I want to keep this because it's e.l.f. it's a drugstore I want to try it uh, oopsie, I think this does not belong in here. No. Wrong one. Let's move on. The next is the Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing Marshmallow Peel Off Mask. No, I don't do peel off. I don't do painful, so declutter. Next is the Herbivore Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. She's pricey. I'm keeping. Oh, I have two. How do I have two? Okay, I will keep one and declare the other one. Okay, I think I know why I have two. Because um, one came in an AIA box that was taken over by Herbivore. And I think the other one was like chosen by Ipsy by the takeover. So I'll declare the other one. I mean, even though Herbivore is expensive, I will need two. And with exfoliating your face I think most people say or most of the most all the clear um, these masks say like at most twice a week I'll declare this is the Dermalogica I think this is like a uh, birthday like Ulta thing or it's your birthday choose what you want I think this is it so declare next is pure <laughs> I love the name of this dirty girl detoxifying mud mask with Pascalite clay I don't know <laughs> uh, let's see I'm gonna keep this and last but not least is Espa clean and green detox mask and I'm keeping and that's it so really actually it's 25 not 26 because I think I accidentally put that there <laughs> that was a mistake so that's it guys this is the last category I'm all done. I'm so glad. Let's count what I did. Um, what I decluttered. We'll see math wise how much I actually declared. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen. Okay. I think that's like just under. Yeah, that's just. Yeah. So. Let's do the math really quickly on this. So 13 divided by 25. Yeah, just 
slightly under 50, over 50%. So I decluttered 52% of my collection on the exfoliators and hair care products. This is a lot more better than part two, which I will link. I put it up somewhere here. Or actually, I'll, um, yeah, I'll put up part one and part two. So if you guys are interested in seeing the other two parts, you can check them out. But yeah, that's it, guys. I pretty much, um, yeah, I'm trying to look around and make sure. Yeah, pretty much declared my whole skincare. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it is crazy. But I'm actually, let's do this really quickly, actually. I'm going to count the total amount of skincare I had and what I decluttered overall with all three parts. So, 47. 62 and 25 so overall pre-declutter I had 134 that is too much that's too much guys too much in my skincare collection I decluttered <laughs> see how much in total Let's see. So I decluttered fifty five. Let's see how much I kept. Where is it? Yeah. Uh, I kept 79. That's not the greatest. It's, no. We'll see. So I say 55 I decluttered in total with 134. So with the overall percentage of 41% decluttered. Now I was kind of hoping to aim for about 50%, but you know what? Decluttering 41% of my collection is really good for me because I just feel less, oh, it's just less stuff because this room is not the biggest and for me to store all of this, it's it's a lot, guys, a lot. It's overwhelming at this point. And I want to end it the, the year with just less stuff. And I did do that, so I am grateful and I'm happy I did that. And like I said, this is all being donated to good causes, it will be donated to local charity that obviously will give it to people in need and also to people affected by the tornadoes, you know, Alabama and the, the, is it the Midwest, you know, unfortunately people who were affected, affected by that. So it will definitely go to good homes, it will be used, it won't be just sitting here like it has been. And like I said, I don't open any skincare products whatsoever until it's time for me to throw away the one I ran out of and it's time to get a new one so that's the only time so everything's unused will be well loved and used by someone else who will would actually use it right away for just me like I don't know when I would get to it so hopefully you enjoyed this three-part decluttering series of my skincare and uh, you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel I'll see you in my next video bye